A spirited comedian, a flamboyant tycoon, an efficient technocrat, and a reassuring politician. These are the choices facing Italians when they go to the polls this weekend. What will be the outcome of one of the hardest to predict elections in living memory? And what will be the consequences for the Eurozone? Discussing this with me today is Paola Subacchi, a research director at Chatham House. Paola, there's been much talk of a possible comeback by Silvio Berlusconi, the man who's uh, dominated Italian politics over the last two decades. Do you think this is pr probable? Well, it's possible, but it's not highly probable uh, for a number of reasons, and particularly because he will need um, another, some alliance um, in the parliament, and at the moment it looks pretty unlikely than uh, any of the other groups will, uh, will tag with him. Right. So one of the baseline scenario, which I think markets are working with, is a, a, a government by the center-left Democrats, possibly in alliance with the centrist group around Mario Monti, the current prime minister. What are the challenges for, for this government? The big challenge is to continue the uh, consolidation of the uh, public finances and, uh, and, and the maintenance of the keeping up the commitments that the Monti government uh, um, signed for. Um, so that means uh, continuing the uh, sort of reduction of uh, um, uh, public spending and the deficit and an increase, an increase in the uh, primary surplus, which means eventually starting to um, um, reduce the public debt.